Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. Let's jam. Now in this track, we're gonna look at really what should be called the Santana groove. We're gonna be going from an A minor seven to a D seven. Now we've looked at the A Aeolian where we have a A minor seven to a D minor seven. Now we're gonna look at an A minor seven to a D dominant seven. Now, if minor pentatonics are still new, make sure that you practice this track. One, get the chords down. Then, just play your pentatonics against it. And when you're ready, add those extra two notes in. Now, if you're still working on your pentatonics, there's a whole series on your minor pentatonics in the key of E and in the key of A. All five patterns, the two that I use, how I expand them so I can play with my first and third fingers only, and even breaking them down into my 50 lick series where I break them all the way down to just five notes that repeat throughout the neck. So make sure you check that out if you're still struggling to learn pentatonics or just to really get them to where you know them well enough to use them because that is the foundation that this series is based on. The five notes of the pentatonic, plus the two extra notes from the modes give us the greatest amount of freedom. Now, if you're playing 12 bar blues, you don't need those extra notes, okay? Pentatonics work great, but when you have chords that offer more of a melodic structure, you really need those extra two notes. So now as you're learning the track, if rhythm is your strong suit, great. If it's not, don't let this intimidate you. You can always just Turn your guitar off, put the rhythm track on, and play quarter notes. And just make sure that you can feel it. Find that pulse. Now, I can't stress enough how important that concept is, okay? It's part of learning to play. Just listening to the track and feeling it in your body, all right? So you can just put that track on. Two, one, two, three, four. Until you can play the quarters. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you kind of got to develop that feel. But what you're looking for in developing feel is the pulse. Because if you start down, up, down, up, any of that, goes with the pulse. If you're not feeling the pulse, then you're chasing time. So just sit with whatever you're doing in any of these tracks and just find that pulse, okay? Then you wanna get the chords down. We have an A minor seven to a D dominant seven. From there, play along with the track, whether it's just rhythm, you know, as far as creating a pulse, having your guitar turned all the way down and just playing along groove-wise, make sure you feel it in your body as well. Then begin to practice your pentatonics. If pentatonics are like really simple for you, then dive right into the modes, all right? Now, wherever you are is exactly where you are right now. Don't push yourself to be further along. Instead, push yourself to be patient and really plant those seeds, all right? Um, and then you can just, you know, play your pentatonics and eventually your modes, just play them quarter notes. Until you can expand. You know, in double time. So 
take it where you are. All right, now as far as the modes go, we're just gonna add two notes to the pentatonics. Same notes. Always look for that little box. Now when you shift from your root six up to your root five, A, A, so now my A Dorian based off of the root five, if I look at my root five minor pentatonic, and I add those extra notes. Root six A minor pentatonic, with the extra two notes added for the Dorian. We're using a Dorian mode, a Dorian mode with an A minor seven to a D dominant seven. Let's jam.